Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where we are at Greenland's Farm. We just got finished wrapping up all our silage bales, and we're gonna need to pick those up off the uh, off of the fields. So uh, that one there was the very last one that I had. Uh, I ended up having to mow my grass here and bailed that up in order to uh, get to 100% so that I could pump out a bale before we had to return the uh, the bale wrapper. So, uh, yeah, we got to take care of the sheep because the sheep, I can't see sheep. Sorry, it's a horrible joke, probably from the mid 2000s. Anyways, um, if you guys can let me know where that what's that what that is from. Uh, bonus points for you because that is uh, reaching pretty deep in a well of old TV shows. Anyways, uh, so we've got quite a bit of lambs now. We've got some male rams, uh, some young male rams, zero month old. So yeah, those will probably be sold. Uh, we got to get down. I think I might just go through and get rid of all my male rams except for my studs and my studs are oh this is this is complicated having so many different types of them uh cheap <laughs> i didn't i didn't think that part through uh but this guy right here so this guy and this guy those are my studs i believe i only have the two um i probably should keep one of them um but you know what We'll see if we, we do have that one. Well, we have five of those. Maybe I'll keep one of those as the, uh, the stud for the snow white sheep, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but we are getting to the point. They are starting to reproduce. These ones all popped out, uh, calves while we were, uh, taking care of our silage. And yeah, we've, uh, yeah, we've got, um, we got a lot of sheep now. I think we have, was it a total of 77? We need six, so we need to get rid of 12 just to keep their health up. Uh, but I think I might end up getting rid of a little bit more than that. So we got to go rent a trailer. We, we've got so much stuff to do. Let's uh, see where we're at as far as food. We've got 6,000 liters, which means they've eaten about 6,000 liters. So let's feed them real quick. And yes, right now, this is how I feed them. Uh, it just, it just seems to be the easiest way to do it. If I was smart. Yeah, if I was smart, I would just throw them. Yeah, it works. <laughs> I can just sit here and chuck them in there. Whoops. Well, that worked too. Actually, if I stand here, boop. Uh, now it won't let me do it. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. All right, this should take care of uh, all the food that they need for today. And probably more some. All right, there we go. Good enough for now. Uh, so everything, everybody's happy. They've got 11,500 liters of... And I, I feel so weird calling it liters. Um, if anything, it should be tonnage. I, I, I feel like all of the different, uh, crop types and stuff like that should be tons, but, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to try not to get stuck. <laughs> we're going to take this back. We're going to go grab the bale loader or the bale trailer. I should say we gotta, we gotta clear it off. So I think what we'll do is we will, uh, Go ahead and drop off that hay. Maybe, you know what? Let's throw this hay in the cow. Uh, the TMR mixer. Um, I'm not really sure the best way to do this, so I'm just going to drive straight in. Are they going to automatically take it, or do I have to unload bales? Oh, are they too high? They might be too high. Um... Let's see if I can... Let's 
some center those back up. I'm gonna try to <laughs> back up a dolly trailer. That's that's going horribly wrong. Let's swing around. There we go. It's it's nice having this small tractor. I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of it. It's great for these uh, tight little farm areas. Let's see here. Now if I chuck these way over here and say... Oh, that tilts it. I move it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We'll just pull up. Uh, but yeah, we'll move that way in there and then uh, go ahead and hit unload. Well, that didn't work. Um, operating, unload, and unload here. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Now we don't have to worry about uh, trying to store those. Fortunately, we can't use them for the sheep, but I think we're covered. I think we're honestly covered. Uh, so let's stop unloading, operating. Let's go into transportation. Let's uh, let's see if this picks up round round bale round yeah round bales. Um, I didn't even think about this. It may not. Yeah, it does. Sweet. A uh, little unrealistic, but that's, you know what, that's fine by me. Ah, uh, what's unrealistic is my driving abilities. Jeez. This is, uh, kind of sad. <laughs> kind of sad. I guess I should have mowed the entire grass around my house because it, uh, yeah, it desperately needs it. It's alright, we might be able to, uh, we'll get a mulcher or something, I don't know. Anyways, we'll just randomly pick these things up in no particular order so that, uh, yeah, so that, uh, they look like those little marshmallows that you used to get. This tractor may be a little underpowered for this, especially going up these hills, so let's, let's try to get the top of the hill first. There we go. You know, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a large. Uh, how do I say this? It wasn't a large um, quantity of colors. We did get a lot of different colors, but unfortunately, I was expecting every time it wrapped a bale that the color would change. And from what I could tell, it was random how many bales it kept the same color up to six. I don't think we ever got more than six. And unfortunately, we are going to end up with all the black ones <laughs> grouped together. I was, I was trying to make it so that all the colors were nicely intermixed, but yeah, we're going to have a, we're going to have like three black ones or four black, five black ones all together. So, but anyways, not a biggie. Uh, we'll have to take this. I don't know if this goes three high or if it's just too high. I guess we'll figure it out. We'll find out. It should be able to do one more. And no, I was wrong. Uh, that's weird. Uh, that doesn't make any sense at all. Why did they, why didn't they just stop it at 22? Uh, that's, that's a little, that's a little unfortunate. But, you know what? It is what it is. We'll always have that silage. He's just hanging out. I guess I, I guess I can stop picking him up at 22. That would, that would make more sense. Yeah, that would make, that would make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? Uh, where's a good place to store these? They don't have to be inside. You know what? Let's go store them over here. We'll store them outside and uh, we'll make them look real nice and, and neat. Alright, so actually I, I need that menu up. Because <laughs> uh, unloading... Oh, come on. And then we will try not to clip it through the building. Unload them there. We'll have that one that's a little 
a little out of line there. I guess it's an outlier because it's the one that uh, I kind of screwed up, so. No! I was afraid of that. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, Alright, let's pick them all up. We gotta do it again. Uh, that's why you have it in transport mode. Alright, well, you know what? At least we can fix it to where we uh, only pick up 22 of them. There we go. Alright, now. We will... Unload the bales. And... I want to twist. Ah, whatever. Good enough. I guess I could do that. Try to get it more parallel to the... There we go. And unload there. Yeah, that looks a little strange, but whatever. I don't think anyone's going to mark me down for that one. Let's go get the rest of the bales. <clears throat> And yeah, the, uh, the, the episode before this one, I went a little crazy. That episode was a full hour long. And uh, look at the delightful goodness. It looks like little gobstoppers or something in the field. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't do this right. Okay, I think we're good now. Nope. Still in that mode. Stop unloading. Operating position. There we go. Ah, whatever. Will it pick him up? Come on. Okay, somehow I'm winning... Or, I'm, I'm losing the battle against that fail. And if I go diagonally through the field... Oh, um... <laughs> yeah, apparently you can't mount <laughs> the panels. And that, that's a no-no in the uh, farming world, so... Don't try that at home. Alright, we have a lot of bales. Oh, I hope this... I hope this translates to a nice little profit. <clears throat> I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to run out of things to do now that it's towards the end of the year. Uh, we have no crops. We probably won't mow this again. Ah, uh, I forgot. I forgot to stop. Oh well. Alright. <clears throat> Again, it's it's not the best system, unfortunately. I wish... I don't know. I feel like the modders could have known that these bales being the size that they are. Because I'm assuming the bigger bales. I think 220 can be wrapped. 200 or 220, something like that. Uh, I think those probably fit better on the trailer. But I feel like the modders could have known that, okay, this size only fits this many and it's you know, two layers up and it's, you know, offset for the top layer from the bottom layer. So anyways, I, I'm just being picky now, so <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I'll try not to be so picky. Ooh, now do I want to... I guess if I was smart, I would go way over this way more. Something like that. Let's go ahead and unload the bales. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Uh, which one is it? I want to go backwards. Nope. But now why is it... Alright, there's so many different controls for trying to get these bales.
All right, you know what? Right there. Right here is a good spot. Unload them there. I don't... doesn't matter. We are... <laughs> packing the farm full of bales. If I, uh... If I was smarter, I would have pulled up nicer. Oh, oh, whoa. Accident. <clears throat> I, I was thinking I could pull up the other way, but unfortunately... I, uh, I didn't, uh, react fast enough there, so let's go get the rest of them. I'm going to cut this out, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you back here once we get all the bales picked up. All right, well, that didn't take too long. Uh, yeah, it was only one more load, so, uh, looks like we're somewhere around 66 bales, somewhere, somewhere in there. Maybe, maybe a bit more. Um, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to attempt to do this again. Eh, you know what? <laughs> I'm so, I'm so bad at this. I apologize. I didn't realize that this trailer was a, a, a dolly trailer. And I think I would have looked for one that wasn't. So let's try not to worry what the trailer's doing. You just kind of counteract what the dolly's doing and the trailer will kind of follow and then when in doubt you just gun it and, and basically shove it in there so anyways um this isn't working <laughs> oh you guys this is what you guys probably come for uh me screwing up and you guys get to laugh at me so you know what I'm absolutely fine with it. All right, let's just let's just do this. We have pretty good control of where we can place these, so let's try that. Let's go and unload the bales, and then that one twist. I think oh that twists side to side. See, like it goes far back. I just can't go far forward. I can't go forward anymore. Um, I guess if I, if I do this right, I get the, yeah, there we go. Feather it in there. Feather it in. Yep. All right. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to hit unload. And okay. Not, not too bad at all. So let's stop unloading. We'll go. No. I thought I was putting it in transportation mode. Damn it. Ah, uh, I had it. You guys saw it. I had it. I had it pretty well. All right, let's just let's just drop this off. Like it's it doesn't matter. I wanted to get a nice clean stack, make it nice and pretty, have a good thumbnail, because uh, I want to try YouTube's new uh, dual thumbnail test where you have all your thumbnails. All right, you know what? Good enough. We're gonna we're gonna destroy the pile anyways. And I'm gonna crash into the silo. Alright, so let's uh let's stop unloading. Now we're in operate or no we're in transportation mode. So it shouldn't pick any of up. Can I pick any of these up real quick? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of super strength, I think. Or is it gonna complain? Yeah, it's gonna complain. Let's go ahead and turn super strength on. I don't use it that often, but I do use it from time to time. Um, so let's just throw that up there. No, I said up. There we go. Uh, let's pick that one up. Let's chuck it up there. We'll pick this one up. We'll chuck it up there. <laughs> uh, this green. We'll chuck it up there. This one. Chuck it up there. Chuck that one up there. It's almost like I'm playing bocce ball. Um, we'll do something like that. Ah, oh, man. That didn't work out. There we go. Alright, can I not screw up the rest of the... Let's just tuck that in there. That should be good. All right, and apparently I, I overshot. Just 
tuck that up there. Cool. Good enough. All right. So it started to rain while I was uh, doing a little bit of fixing up. Uh, but that's okay. You know what? We're not doing any harvesting. We don't have to worry about yield crops and, and or crop yields and all that fun stuff. So uh, our grass fields are pretty much empty. And I had a brilliant idea. Uh, eventually, it's not going to happen anytime soon, but eventually I want to turn this into a uh, little horse run. Uh, so I want to put a... Uh, I would I would have loved to get rid of these hedges, uh, but unfortunately I can't figure out how to do it, and I probably would have to go into the giant map editor thing and, and deal with getting rid of them. I've tried running them over. I have real mod a real mower, mower mod installed uh, that usually runs over bushes, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't touch these ones. So uh, we're just going to probably draw some asphalt in here and then put the barn, I don't know, facing this way. And then I've got the, uh, the expandable pastures mod, so I should be able to turn most of this into, I don't have to turn it all into, uh, the horse run or the horse stable i guess it's no what, what would you call it stable is the barn that they go in anyways the horse area um because i don't really think i'll use this for crops either um but anyways i don't know why i'm running around it right now while i'm talking i'm just trying to do two things at once so and then here we have the pigs that uh haven't shown up yet those aren't going to show up for a while because pigs are very very complex um, I like having one bale up on the roof. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll have to, uh, let's try to get that down right now. Um, uh, you know what, good enough, as long as it falls. Uh, so we can go ahead and turn off super strength. Just to prove that I don't use it all the time. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to, uh... Yeah, we're going to span out another month. I think we can get another row of, uh, wool in. Now, wool is not good until April. Well, it's good all the time, but, uh, yeah, it's not until, uh, not until April that it's at its best, so. Let's see how that goes. <clears throat> it, it's, it's a little unfortunate, because it's going to be right about, I might have to sell it early in March to be able to get some, uh, crops in the ground. Uh, ooh, I guess I could have slept till late. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Crap. Yeah, we're going to be probably in some... Uh... Oh, we might be okay. I do have to get... Where is it? Yeah, we're still at 77, so nobody gave birth yet. That's good. I don't know why I was thinking they would give birth uh, <laughs> every month, but that would that would be way too way too soon. Um, so what we need to do is actually go to the store and where's my tractor? I left it right there. Let's go to the store. Let's, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll just drop this off right here. Why not? Um, oh, I never, I never noticed that little hiss that they had. <laughs> it's a uh, very early morning. In fact, I might just speed up time because uh, I'd actually slow, slowed it down because I felt like it was going too fast. And now when we have nothing to do, it's going way too slow. Um, so I might even do. Ooh, do I want to go? Oh, wait, let's not try to try not to crash while we do this. 30 would be every Two seconds is a minute. That's probably a little fast. Let's do 15. I always forget I'm on the wrong side of the road because I'm in Europe. And uh, yeah, anyways, we'll uh, we'll kind of speed up these days. Hopefully they'll go by pretty good. And like I said, we can always we can always sleep like we did yesterday. I think we fell asleep at 1 p.m. <laughs> so, but let's uh, let's get a trailer. There's the store there, so I can jump out, go to the store. Ooh. 
definitely can't afford that axial or flow. This truck is a logging truck. It's pretty pretty. Never used that before. And then a cedar we don't need uh, yet. Well, that is a really good price. Not the greatest of width, so. And also, we are way underpowered, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to get some seeds in the ground, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. It all depends on our, uh, our har harvest. Or our uh, silage. Maybe we will have to do another thing of silage before the winter is up. Anyways, not what we're here for. I, I got sidetracked. Sorry, guys. We've got animal trailers. We need to sell some of these, uh, some of these animals. <laughs> Uh, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with this one. It's $25,000, but I'm going to rent it. Why? Because I'm not rich. I don't have the money. So $1,275. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to sell. Ah! Go get in the tractor. There you go. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to sell enough sheep. Uh, yeah, we might, we might be hurting because I don't think the sheep are worth more than 125. I need 10 sheep to sell to cover cost on this. Uh, you know what? We might take a little bit of a loss in the beginning. It's fine. Uh, I may end up installing the lease to mod, or mod, what is it? The mod, uh, lease to own. Wow, this, this trailer is not way too big for this tractor. Uh, yeah, I might, I might end up installing that just so that if we do something like this, we can eventually own these trailers. There is a truck and trailer combination that I would love to get later on in the game. So I've got my eyes on that one. That's, that's more of a life goal. This is more of a now goal. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, hopefully we might have to sell a little bit more than we wanted, but I'm okay with that. Oh, it's a beautiful drive into the into the the property, huh? I can't wait till oh crap, bad driving. Uh, I can't wait though for one day for uh, all these fields to be ours again. Uh, they were my uncle's at one point. He had built this entire. Whoops, I was in the right menu. Eh, which way do I want to go? <laughs> he had all these fields here, all the way to the road, and then around, and then I believe 57 and 74 were also his, so. Um, but unfortunately, they were sold. The bank had uh, reclaimed the money that he owed because he kind of went bankrupt, uh, which is a sad, sad thing because, I mean, I could have helped him out. You know, starting probably three or four years ago when he started having problems and we may have been able to save the farm and not sold anything. All right, so we're back at the farm. Now we need to back our trailer into loading area, which is just right here. Let's see if I can do this without hitting the other trailer. Ooh, look at me go. I'm a I'm a professional. All right, we can open up the dialogue box. Now we can get rid of all these, all these three. Let's move those to the trailer. Let's uh, see how many young rams we have. Ooh, eight of them? Yeah, we're, we're selling those to the trailer. Uh, I wanna keep all the females that I can. We've got two of those guys. Move those to the trailer. And that's 13 of 13. Perfect. Is that all that trailer holds? Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and hold up our trailer. Oh. Uh, maybe, maybe it was folded. Never mind. Look at all the tiny little... I feel like it could fit a lot more of the, the baby rams in there. So, uh, we've got to find... <laughs> I don't know where the animal dealer is on this map. Uh, it's way over here, so we gotta go through town. Auction center, perfect. All right, and I think I will, uh, I'll throw this on a time lapse and we'll see you over.
All right, so that was a quick little time lapse. Nothing, uh, nothing too long. And I believe we just need to uh, drive the trailer into the, uh, the box right there. Da -da -da. And then, yep, we can uh, select all of those and sell. So that's 512 bucks. We've got all of these guys, all eight of those guys. That's that covers a trailer right there. That's perfect. And then we will sell just the two of these guys. So, boom, we got uh, basically sixteen hundred dollars. Actually, seventeen hundred dollars. Not too bad. We made a little profit. We've made a little room in our shed. Uh, our uh, our. Uh, uh, Pen. <laughs> Why am I forgetting the name of that? Our sheep enclosure pasture? I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. You guys know what it is. Alright, so let's uh let's jump cut over there and uh yeah. Alright, so I've decided let's do another round of sheep. I was gonna keep them. Or I was gonna I, I was just gonna let it ride. But the issue is Yes, we have room for four more, but if we own this trailer, I would I would keep them. I would I would let them overfill, and then we can get rid of them because they'll be a, a month older. They'll be a little bit more money, uh, but unfortunately, oh, I only got one of those. Ooh, no, wait, hold on a second. No, one month old. I don't want to sell my studs. <laughs> That's what I'm really worried about. Him? You know what? I might keep him because I don't have... There's five, so let's get rid of four of those. Because uh, I want to keep one of these uh, Bethlehem... Or Bent... Bent... Bethem? Bethems? Bethlems? I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry. Uh, I want to keep one of those around because I only have two males. So now we have three males. Um, and hopefully we can breed... Uh, Quite nicely so let's go ahead and we will select these guys I thought it said oh oh no that's four months oh I'm glad I didn't get rid of that uh, 14 months these should all be females now yeah um are there any other ones I can get rid of female one month 14 one month male one month but we're keeping that one Female one month, fem yeah. Male four months, definitely keeping those guys. Those are my studs. And yeah, you know what? Uh, that's that should that should work. We'll uh, I I won't bother showing this part, but we'll uh, we'll cut this out. Do I have them? Are they in there? They're so small, I can't even see them. Yeah, they're in there. Okay. And uh, yeah, like I said, let's uh jump all the way back to the uh yeah we'll just jump to cut this out ah of course i crashed <laughs> yes never mind how muddy the trailer is i uh i had a little bit of a issue going off road so uh let's just say i'm glad it wasn't recorded <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and sell these guys or one and then we will sell all of these guys. And when I say guys, they are male, so I do mean guys. And uh, yeah, so there we go. There's now almost almost another $800 there. So uh, let's go ahead and go take this back. Luckily, their return policy doesn't say that you have to clean it out, nor do you have to clean it off. So it's, uh, it's a win-win situation for us. But uh, yeah, so let's get uh, this back to the store. I, I could cheat and just return it. Uh, but I do want to... Uh, I do want to play this game fairly reasonable. <laughs> and uh, fairly realistic. I don't want to just sell stuff back willy-nilly off of the field. Although I probably will do it from time to time. 
uh, whether or not I'm I'm busy or I'm uh, trying to get something done. So, uh, but yeah, let's sell this, and then I have no clue how long this episode's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a lot, uh, a lot shorter than the last episode. But please do let me know if you prefer the lo longer episodes. I don't mind. Um, I just did a lot of. I did a lot of work, um, so I just was like, you know what, let's just do it all at once. It, it helps that, um, that I rented the, uh, the tractor and the, uh, the baler and all that stuff, so I had to get those fields done. Um, I probably could have made it two parts, uh, but I didn't, uh, I didn't really realize. I thought maybe my time, or my time, uh, lapses would take less time. If that is the correct way to say it. Um, but I had about two hours worth of recording and yeah, it, it came out to be about an hour worth of video. So uh, that's my rule of thumb. I'm going to try to stick with uh, about an hour of recording and then with time lapses and everything, hopefully it will be between a half an hour and, and 45 minutes to an hour because this episode doesn't have a lot of uh, a lot of time lapses in it. So uh, also, please let me know. Do you guys prefer time lapses? Do you want me to skip time lapses and just do jump cuts? Or do you want to see everything and no jump cuts, no uh, time lapses? And if I got to drive to the other side of the map, like say over well, up here, I have to drive it. And you guys want to see it now. Initially, the first time I do it, I'll probably show it or at least uh, at least time lapse it. But um, yeah. We've, uh, yeah, we've run out of stuff to do for today, so, and, uh, looks like the sheep have run out of hay. Let's just double check that real quick. Ah, they've got 7,000 in there. They should be fine. Famous last words, right? But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and, uh, hopefully I recorded enough. If not, I'll cut this out, and you'll see more stuff going down. <laughs> All right. Uh, bye for now. Just checking the grass, making sure that it is, uh, isn't ready to be harvested yet again. Although it technically is, but it's in growth state number one, not two. So anyways, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next episode.